This video I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks and we are going to be deciding if these are still worth your money in 2021. Let's go! Hi everyone, it's Kelly back with another video. I'm bringing you new makeup reviews and tutorials every single week alongside my lovely dog who's biting my arm, Loki. So if you're new here, please do consider hitting that big red button down below to subscribe. Okay, so today we are gonna be doing a full review of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. These have been around now for years and years, but I thought it would be good to revive them and see if they're still relevant compared to all of the other ones on the market at the minute. Really get into whether these are worth your money in 2021. And as with other reviews, we are gonna be doing a full review, so we're gonna be looking at all aspects of these liquid lipsticks to see if they are really good and worth your money. Oh! Okay, so firstly looking at the promises that these liquid lipsticks apparently deliver. So these liquid lipsticks are supposed to provide an intense ink color concentration, a flawless matte finish, a second skin effect in one stroke. Okay. And statement inked lips that last. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Where's the ball? Get the ball, get the ball. Okay, on to the packaging. So I actually really do like the packaging of these liquid lipsticks. It's very simple, but it's very effective. I love that it is actually in matte packaging. I think that that's a really nice touch um, in keeping with the matte ink theme. These liquid lipsticks also have a really nice Dofa applicator, which has the little gap in the middle, which stores the extra product. So it means you don't have to dip in and out of the product as much. And each liquid lipstick holds five mils of product. Okay, so on to price then. So these liquid lipsticks cost $9.99, which actually when you look at the other drugstore liquid lipsticks that are out there, this is slightly on the higher side. So when you compare it to say the NYX liquid lipsticks, like their lip lingeries, any of their um, full size liquid lipsticks, they are about six or seven pounds. So again, a couple pound more expensive. And when you compare it to like Rimmel liquid lipsticks, they are about five pounds. So again, this is a little bit more on the higher side of normal. Just something to bear in mind, I still don't think that they are badly priced at all. I think $9.99 is still under £10. It's still very affordable, but just so that you know, they are on slightly the higher side of drugstore price. Okay, so now let's talk about shades and swatches. So there are actually 40 shades currently available in these at the time that I'm filming. And these shades do range from sort of your nudes to your super bright reds to your sort of dark vampy colors. And honestly, there is a really, really good selection. If you go on the Maybelline website, you can see how many different ones there are. There are loads of shades in this. Now as for the shades that I actually purchased, so I went for three shades. I went for number seven, which is called Amazonian. I also went for a sort of like bright Bright red which is Pioneer and then I also went for a sort of darker bumpier color called Voyager which is actually the color that I'm wearing on my lips today. So really extensive shade range I'm really really pleased that there are loads of shades in it I think you could definitely find something that suits you if you just go online have a look at the shades and see what works for you. Quickly on that Maybelline do actually have a try it on feature on their website which allows you to try what the lip liquid lipstick would look like on you so um, I also recommend trying that out because every skin tone they always look slightly different okay time to talk about the application of these liquid lipsticks so I actually went ahead and applied the three shades that I have this morning so that I can insert them here to show you I found the application of these liquid lipsticks was actually really really good I always have a little bit of trouble with liquid lipsticks I do find liquid lipsticks quite hard to apply sometimes and I'm a little bit messy with them but I definitely try my best I think that these ones are relatively easy to apply. I think the doe fit with the gap in the middle gives you loads of product, so you don't need to worry about dipping in and out of the product too much. Please ignore Loki's crunching in the background. <laughs> Overall, I think they apply pretty good. I always have trouble with liquid lipsticks and these are sort of no exception for me. I'm very messy with them and I find them very hard to apply, but I think that these doe fits are as good as they could be for helping you to apply these as well as, as, well as you possibly could. As for how well they last this morning, I tried to take them off in between swatching the different colors on my lips and I find it really really difficult it was kind of tattooed to my lips so I guess that kind of gives you an idea of how effective they are at not coming off and staying put 
Okay, so overall, I am actually pretty impressed with these Superstay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I still think that they are a really, really good product if you're looking for a cheap but effective liquid lipstick today from the drugstore. If they have a shade that you think would be really, really great for you, then I think these could be the perfect choice. It definitely seems like they have delivered on all the promises that I set out at the start of this video. I definitely think they do give a statement inked lip effect, a beautiful matte finish, and in one stroke, you definitely can get a lot, a lot of staying power. I think that the packaging is really beautiful, really simple, but really, really effective. I think that the price is reasonable. I think as long as it's sitting below 10 pound, that's acceptable for the drugstore and I think that's not bad at all especially if you're getting a good quality product which it seems so far that this is and again the shade range is really really impressive so you're likely to be able to find a shade that suits you and again I recommend the Maybelline website for that as you can try some shades on and see what suits you the best so overall I do recommend these liquid lipsticks in 2021. Okay, so my question of the day for you all today is have you ever actually tried these liquid lipsticks? And if you have, please let me know what shades you like in these and also if you enjoy using them personally. I really do enjoy using them and this shade in particular I really really love but I would love to know your guys opinion as well. So make sure that you hit that big red button down below to subscribe before you leave and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Art, bumpy colors. <laughs> oh. That's not helpful. <laughs>